Alright, welcome back. In this video, I will be explaining messaging service. Um, and in this example right here, I have two people in two different servers. So if I do this, you'll see I'm in this server by myself. If I go over to here, I'm in this server by myself. But however, if I click this button, it'll show a message on every server. So if I click this right now, a person clicked the button. And then after five seconds, or ten seconds, I should say, um, it goes away. So you'll see that in a second. Um, yeah, there you go. So I will show you how to do that. Um, and let's get started then. All right, so to get started, I have this magic part um, with a click detector in it. So when you click it, it'll basically send a message to all servers. Um, so to get started, obviously, we're going to need a server script to make server things work. So I'll say services, and we'll have a section for services. So I'll say local messaging service um, is equal to game get service without two equal signs. Don't know why I did that. Messaging service, not memory store service. Actually, I actually have no idea what that is. I'll make a video about it, I guess. Um, and I'll say other. Um, and then we'll basically say, basically what we have to do first is subscribe, which um, basically notifies all servers or whatever servers have subscribed when something happens. So I'll say uh, messaging service, colon subscribe async, and then we need a topic for what we're going to do. So in my case, I'm going to call it heart click event. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing out on any, any, um, any things here. So there's the topic, and then we have, um, all right, callback. So that's the function we want to happen when um, this happens. So we'll say local function um, display label. And basically when they click this, we're going to display a text label. So local function display label. And we'll basically say um, we're actually going to need a replicated storage too. So I'll say local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage. So um, then we'll say we're going to create a remote event so we can send, so we can share a UI with everyone pretty much. And then we'll say um, a text label reveal like that. And then I'll say local local text label reveal event equals replicated storage wait for child text child text label label reveal <laughs> um, yeah and basically when this happens we're going to say text label reveal event event colon fire all servers servers or fire all clients sorry um, fire all clients and then we will give we actually don't need to give anything. So this will basically, whenever someone posts, whatever, whenever a server posts um, part click event, this will happen. So then we need to make it so every server will post uh, when someone clicks. So we will say, um, well, let's define the part. So we'll say local magic part equals game dot workspace dot magic part. And we'll say magic part dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect function and then we will basically say messaging service colon publish async and we will give the things that it needs so we have the topic and then um we you could have a message but in my example i'm not going to have a message i'm just gonna do a topic so my topic is part click event need to make sure these are the same, obviously, because this is looking for that specifically. Uh, now, if you wanted a message, actually, I will add a message. So I'll say um, this, a person clicked the button, like that. And then we'll basically change the text to be this to show that the message works. So we'll actually say um, when you... How do you get the message? I forget. I believe you can just put in the um, part click event. Oh, I didn't even do this part where it does the callback. Display label. So basically put that in without the, the parentheses. Actually, we will add them so we can say 
Um, well, no. I think we can just say um, message or um, wait. I think you can just say message. I'm going to test this out a little bit, so I'll say print message just to make sure this is how it works. All right, so then um, whenever someone clicks it, it'll publish. So let me actually test this to see um, how this works exactly. Um, so if I click this, um, what is message print? It doesn't print anything. All right. Um, it's probably firing, but it's not, there's no um, client to actually pick up anything. So I'll say print, um, print fired, just to make sure it is running. And you'll see that we have published after we do this. So I'll say, I'll go in here, I'll click, and it doesn't work. Oh, service disconnected. Um, why does it say that? Um, that's probably because my game isn't published, actually. So let me publish the game. Yeah, it's probably API services. So I'm going to publish this game, and then I will go to settings, security. I'm going to turn on API services, and that should get it to work, I believe. I think that's why it's saying service disconnecting. That would make sense. Um, so if I click this, it says fired. All right, so what is message? All right, so message, um, well, um, when you when you call um, a function from subscribe async, it gives you this table. So there's data and sent, which is probably the os.time that it was sent, or the second since January 1st, 1970, I believe it is. Um, so yeah, so basically we're going to give all clients data.data. Um, and data is the actual text. I mean, we should probably use a different word besides data, maybe um, received or something like that. We'll say received.data. All right, and then we'll basically, on the client, we're going to add a local script to this UI, and we are going to say um, services, and then other, and then I'm gonna say local replicated storage equals game, game get service replicated storage and then I will say I will define the the data or the whatever you call it <laughs> local um, text label um, remote event sorry text label reveal event equals replicated storage wait for child text um, label reveal just like that. I will say text label reveal event dot on client event um, colon connect function and then we'll have the message here um, from the server as you can see I said to get received dot data which is the message that was sent so I'll say um, script dot parent dot message dot text equals um, message um, I'll also make this visible for five seconds or maybe 10 seconds is a better time. So this will be invisible by default. So I will say script.parent.message.visible equals true. And then after this, we will um, do a wait, wait um, 10 and script.parent.message.visible equals false and we'll also set the um, actually we'll do that before we make it invisible I guess script dot parent dot message dot dot text equals nothing and if you just have a string look like that that means it's a string but there's no text so yeah so now if we go into the game I'll show you I tell now remember I didn't tell it to set the labels text to any predefined thing. Um, it just says a person clicked the button. And I'll show you right now if I change this. So when it posts, it gives a different message. For example, um, a thing happened. Um, and I'll show this on multiple servers in a second, by the way. 
so you can see that this works all the time. All right, and I click this, a thing happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, that um, does exactly what you want it to do. So now I'm going to um, go onto the Roblox website, just a second, and I'll make this public. And then I'm going to use the Windows 10 version of Roblox to um, make two servers, pretty much. Um, so I'll say untitled game, let's make this public. Um, all right, and then I'll join the game, and then I'll join on my alt account. So let me just Roblox. All right, so we have this Roblox right here and, here, and then we have the normal Roblox opening up as well. So I'll actually show you both of these at the same time. Can I even, wait, let me do that again. Um, yeah, we can do that. All right, so I'll say um, I'm gonna join Cheese God and Untitled Game. And then, um, well, no, I don't wanna join. Um, <laughs> I wanna um, actually make private servers free and then have him go into a private server. Um, so let me say access. I'll just show you that I'm changing this really quickly. Allow private servers free. And then basically my alt account will create a private server. Um, let me just, what is going on? Oh, leave is at the top, that's weird. Um, all right, so I'm going to go to the game that I'm playing. Um, actually, how do I, oh yeah, I just go to friends playing, friends visiting. Um, it's not here. Um, oh, I can just say continue now, duh. All right, so then I'm gonna go to servers. I'm gonna create a private server. Um, a, and not configure now, don't need to. Um, and now I'm gonna go into this private server, A. And you will see that when I click in one server, it will send it to the other. Why is this taking so long to join? Come on, all right. There you go. Let me just wait for this to load up. Now if I click this, a person clicked the button on both servers. And remember, this is a different server. If I click on this, um, I'm the only person in this server, I'm the only person in this server. So yeah, yeah if I press it on this side, the person clicked the button. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.